Hi everyone, today is my grandson's birthday, one of my grandson's birthdays. So happy birthday, Michael. This is a book that I bought him for his birthday, so I wanted to read it to him. It's new for me as well. And it's called Alphabet Street. It's got lots of little flaps and hidden things around every corner. Alfie's Bakery. A is for Aardvark asleep in her bed. B is for Bear who is baking some bread. Coffee and donuts. C is for Cat who is cooking some fish. Cat cooking there. D is for dog who is drying a dish. Elegant fashions. E is for elephant eating some fruit. F is for frog who is fetching a suit fashion store getting a suit. G is for Goose who is growing a rose. H is for Hippo who is holding a hose. And these two I forgot are at Garden and Hardware Store. Incredible jokes. I have some grand children that would like that part. They like jokes. I is for insect who's icing a bun. J is for jaguar jumping for fun. King's laundromat. K is for kangaroo kissing his mother. L is for lions who laugh at each other. Magazines and newspapers. M is for monkeys who make a skyscraper. N is for Newt who needs a newspaper. Oil paintings. O is for octopus opening a box. P is for pig who is painting a fox. Queen's Restaurant. Q is for quails who quarrel and shout. R is for rabbit who runs in and out. He's got a restaurant, so he's to run in and out with the food for everyone. Super toys. S is for sea lions standing up straight. Can you stand up straight? T, T is for tiger who's trying to skate. Oh, looks like he's gotta be careful there because his one foot's coming up. He might crash into all those toys. Uptown Vacuums. U is for unicorn using a jug. And as one of my grandchildren says, unicorn. U is for unicorn using a jug. V is for vulture who vacuums a rug. Wonderful x-rays. W is for wolf who is wearing a coat. X is for Zygel, X-raying a goat. Looks like Zygel is some kind of alien space person. Yakety Zacks. Y is for Yaks who are yawning in chairs. And Z is for Zebra who's zooming upstairs. And if you open it like this, Oh, yeah, I don't know if I can get the whole book in, but you can see that this is eight feet of alphabet fun in this story. So this is a good storybook to learn your ABCs, and then you can tie it shut and 
keep it for another time.